Galaxy Krypton Miheso. There's uh, Mustafa Esman, the number three there. He's the captain. And uh, having featured uh, for Hearts of Ark from Ghana. And he certainly will be looking forward to fighting with uh, Isaac Isinde, Ugandan national team defender, who is a part uh, of the fray in as far as uh, this uh, particular match today is concerned. It will be Tavda Maisha, the Congolese who will be looking up to Angolan Ayisi Krypton Miheso for some uh, inspiration. And it is uh, Esumain, the captain, who will have to show his experience as a veteran of the Hearts of Oak. So now having to contribute to Beautycon, it's a part of animals that uh, will be looking to dominate uh, today. Look out for the creativity of uh, Godfrey Nguenya, Calvin Muvanga. For your tempo, well, you cannot uh, underestimate what he's capable of doing on a day like this. Tembo, a new signing in a Ferdinand Cam. We'll be working in partnership and uh, Stumbe Kongwenya Kasande and uh, Muwanga Kampamba will be orchestrating play from the midfield. At the back, a lot of discipline will be required from Chungu Mwanambaba, Mutale and uh, Kamwanga Jr. to protect Alan Chiwe in goal. And uh, it's uh, Kasonde just uh, looking to go through the formalities. The first ever meeting between these two sides in the Super League. And Beautycon, formerly based in uh, the southern province, now in Ndola. And they contribute to the Signs that represent Ndola City on the Copper Belt. But do they have what it takes uh, to meet up with uh, an experienced side like Power Dynamos? Mr. Roderick Ngandu is the man at the center to control the proceedings this uh, particular afternoon. And uh, Jodren Hichan. Beautycon uh, coach, in as far as that is uh, concerned, it's uh, certainly going to be an interesting show of uh, force. Now, you know that the Ford Animals, obviously, with uh, a lot of expectations on their shoulders, Mr. Dan Kawe knows only too well that uh, nothing short of a victory will be demanded by the loyal Ford Animal supporters. Oh, Fire Tembo spotting another look today. What do the likes like Isaac Kassinde have? Uganda national team defender. It's an array of uh, African names. In fact, someone was saying this is like uh, it's a, an international match. So, what sort of display will be laid here today? How will they gel? How have they been doing in training? And can they replicate that against uh, the powerful powered animals? So anytime from now, fans are in place, just waiting for the goalkeeper in uh, Alan Chiwe to take uh, his position. And away we go. It's all happening at the trade fair grounds. And you want to stay with us because Butkan is yet to prove a point as I'm, I get joined by Mukamba Mwende Jr. And early on, some drama trying to be presented. So. You've seen Butecon. What do you make of them in uh, matching up with Pod Animals this afternoon? 
Well, Paul will have to be wary of Buildcon. Buildcon have got a lot of individual brilliance. What they need is time to gel. I think in the past we have noticed that Buildcon has not had an out-and-out -out center forward. But lucky for them today, the papers have been cleared because uh, the man who was top scorer, where he hails from, is here to deliver for them. We're talking about John Mark Marqueta, the Ugandan. Actually, Kenyan. I always mistake those two. Very similar Kenyan Uganda, isn't it? Well, <laughs> I don't know about the similarities. In the meantime, the pressure is on. I need to find out the similarities. In the meantime, starting up, just uh, settling down, pushing the ball forward. And it is uh, certainly a game that has two sides studying each other, but they don't have much time to do that. You can expect they've got some uh, expectations, inside info about each other. But there's always something special about meeting for the first time. It's all happening before an expectant crowd here in the trade fair grounds. Nguenya. Looking for an early opportunity to strike, and it comes. But I think Kampamba stood in the way. That will end up being a goal kick. So who gets to draw first blood? Hasn't started on the fastest of uh, paces of this match. But you can expect it uh, to build in momentum. As Power Dynamos meet up to what men refer to as an international team in Butecon. Dollar based. Here comes the ball. And that uh, will go out uh, for a goal kick. So much said about uh, how the Zambian League is uh, attracting a lot of attention. It can only be good for the local game. Well, another dollar side uh, was victorious earlier on over a huge team from Lusaka in Forest. Another dollar side in Zesco drew yesterday with a team from Kitwe. So it's a battle between Kitwe and Dollar, and in particular, number nine, Doug Hamasho Drive, is where Bukon hails from. So they will have to put everything together. And when you say international, it's probably an understatement because they have players that hail from far and wide Guinea, Ghana, Kenya, DRC, Equatorial Guinea, Mali. Nigeria, boy oh boy. Well, when you mention all that, you start looking around for a CAF official. But now, it's the local league. It's football made in Zambia. All happening on a public holiday in Zambia on a Monday. Still settling, still yet yeah, waiting to explode uh, this game. And uh, both sides being a little bit uh, careful. And you want to just open up and allow the game to begin. The Kenyan had it receiving a pass from his teammate in Clifton. Clifton actually did play for Golden Arrows in South Africa. So, a lot of uh, players playing international football. There was news about Clifton's departure from Golden Arrows. We heard stories about uh, contracts and uh, some uh, <clears throat> nine millimeters. End it there. In the meantime, Dynamo's pushing and uh, beginning to try and get into the game. Julius Tumbeko starting today. A lot of talk about uh, Stumbeko and a lot of it with the underlying word of potential. Pretty sure that uh, he wants to exploit that. It's 
throw in powered animals this is Lawrence Chungu being pursued as the power kind of struggled to push forward to make any threats that might worry Beautycon as they push forward and try to get control of the midfield this is for Sanja played for Nkana as well Now looking good, Beauty Khan. Powered animals begin to feel the pressure, and there could be in trouble here. And look at that, and it's in. It's Makwata. No, it's not. It is actually Maisha, the Congolese, and it's so early in the sixth minute. And the coach saying, "Take it easy." Absolutely amazing from this uh, Bitcoin side. And what a way to score. And they make their intentions known and their presence felt. Well, a former TP Mazembe player in Maisha who's on loan to Bitcoin just capitalizes because the reaction that comes through from Alan Chibwe and company is not there. He just puts a toe on it and opens up his foot and ensures that it goes in. Bildcon officially score the first goal of the season against Power. And so, Maisha celebrates, and so do Bildcon, and Power Dynamos are forced to wake up. And now we have a game on our hands, because Bildcon will want to consolidate their lead, perhaps push in another one. And Power Dynamos have to quickly settle, get out of the comfort zone, and play the game. And now, if they can score the first one, they can score a second. Power Dynamos will not want that. But the supporters know that this could be problematic. Yet again, danger lurking. Power Dynamos in trouble. Ndisha. Oh, Makwata in there, just uh, benefiting from uh, Ndisha's uh, pass. Ondisha puts it in his face. Makwata just makes contact with the ball. Makwata was just brought in on a permanent deal. He used to play for Ulinzi Stars in Kenya. Power Dynamos in need of a quick reply. Things not looking good very early into the game. This is Tembo, Fuayo. And he dances around, expressing himself across in there. And just headed out. What a moment and a time to miss an opportunity. Oh, this is how the goal came in, into space. Failure to react. There he was, you know, one pass clears four or five defenders. And Alan Chibwe will be a sad man. And there's been this talk about this build con side. They have not considered a goal in three games. So they have the meanest defense in the league. And those questions on whether or not they can score goals, well, we've just been answered with that great goal coming in from uh, DRC International, Maisha. Chungu for Power Dynamos. Kampamba. Fuayo crosses it in. The equalizer is refusing to come for power. And now, this is all about responding as Beautycon start again. Leading by goal. Playing to the goalkeeper, Alan Chibwe. Look at back at that goal. He was feel very frustrated indeed. Bad animals under pressure. Now needing every ounce of energy for support. Power have been here before. They were trailing two goals to new against Nsaka Dynamos in the opening weekend. And the bounce back and scored two quick goals. 
So this won't be any different for power. But they're taking on a formidable side in BuildCon FC because they have not conceded. So history will be made on the side of BuildCon. Top flight football. We saw an early goal and just how difficult it was to get out of it by Lusaka Dynamos in the loss earlier on to Forest Rangers. Oh, Butkan, Butkan have now gone over 270 minutes without conceding a goal. Back to the goalkeeper from uh, Billy Mtale. Alan Chiwe lays it again to him. Paul Animals in need of some quick reaction, quick comeback. Other than that, it just might be a beautiful day. But so far, the dollar side accounting for itself quite well. Looking very organized. And there's a bit of runner yet again. It is Maisha who has that pressure and wins the Beautycon a corner. Maisha looks to be having a pepper spell in this game. His combination with John Mark Makwata is really producing a lot of fruitfulness for this Beautycon side. The players are very compact unit, very zono in their marking. And they're precise. I guess it's a case of having a lot of international players on their roster. Here comes the ball. Hard animals trying to take it out of danger. But they'll need to maintain their composure. Fire. Kampamba. That's an uh, overhead. It is uh, going to be a throw in to Butkon. A little bit too much from the young Nguenya there as he was looking to put Kampamba into space. Scott Free just uh, signed up by Power from Kawa Warriors. He's fit into this team like a hand in gloves in uh, 1994, then about. There's a man down, but play continues. He's up. The Powered Animals struggling to outdo this uh, dollar side, newly promoted. And now, more danger. Cleared away. But there's some uh, good control from uh, Fidel Bosanja, and obviously, Eventual shot there from uh, Pashent Mwepu. A quarter of an hour is played. It's uh, pod animals that have already conceded. So it's a case of power taking on an international 11. Absolutely. And they're playing some good football, beauty con. Pod animals can't talk about settling. But they're panicking and lose that ball to Bjorkan for a throw in as Lawrence Chungu fails to control the ball. Yes, frustrating. You can understand that. Masuwadu. Kasonde taking the ball out of uh, danger. Has a second chance to hit it as well. Fire Tembo passes on a loose ball. What can he do? He lays the ball, but uh, the touch was really heavy, and you could see Fire just uh, a little bit frustrated. Kampamba. It's just looking difficult for Pod Animals, but uh, man down in uh, Ferdinand Camp.
So free kick to Paul Danimals. Gokene issuing instructions. He had spells with Napsa and Kana, and hopefully he will settle in this very cosmopolitan side. I wonder what the official language is. Let's keep wondering. I think it's called football. Free kick for your tempo. Gokene. The four man war. And that's not a bad uh, hit from the striker. Scott's positioning a little bit questionable. If uh, Fuayo just wrapped it almost inch perfect and it dinked just somewhat sooner than later, it was gonna go in on the left. And, and this is the thing with Scott, sometimes he just puts in a little bit of a laissez-faire approach in the game. But so far, so good. His defensive line has worked extremely well because the likes of uh, Mwepu and company have not considered a goal. Scott picks up a yellow. Rather early to start buying time. Scott Ngokene becomes the first recipient of a yellow card. Powered animals already under pressure. It's 1-0 in favor of the new side to the Super League. And they certainly will have a lot to say, have a big say in as far as the championship is concerned for 2017. Nobody said it was going to be easy for your tempo with that uh, tackle. Luckily, he doesn't uh, get uh, punished. The referee asks uh, Fuayo to take it easy. Looks like he's apologizing. Late Fuayo was, as he was looking to just uh, cover play there, but dangerous. It's not going anywhere in that instance. So Fuayo lucky not to be punished in that instance. And uh, he knows it. The boys lob up front. Odd animals know only too well to keep uh, this dangerous beauty side uh, from uh, hanging around that area. Their area, they're 18. But they need to quickly get uh, the equalizer. The beauty card will have something else to say about that. Headed away. Throw into power. Quickly taken. Building slowly. Holding on now. The ball in need of uh, some crossing. The need to do that should have been the first time. But uh, Alan Kamanga wanted to first have a run before crossing it. Let's go up. It's beautiful that uh, do a good job. No follow-up from uh, any Power Dynamos player in that situation. Here comes another chance. Beauty can't do well. Take it out further away from uh, danger, but Power insisting. A mistake, and Fire can control the ball. Kampamba. Gwenya doesn't manage to have a complete pass. And uh, the push is on, but maybe too much. Support so animals looking for that equalizer, continue searching. And Budokan could do well to stop that um, run. And they do just that. Well, the Coco Master should have released the ball slightly sooner. 
Julius Tumbeko there just uh, taking too long on the ball. And now, more chances. And the pass to Lawrence Chungu is overlapping. Can he get in that cross? He has all the time and space. You can't do well defensively, denying power any chance to shoot at goal. This is uh, Ayisi Maihaso. Back to the goalkeeper, Scott Ngokeni. In the meantime, pushing forward. Twenty minutes plus one played. Beauty con. There's a man down in uh, Fidel Bosanja. From Ankana man just uh, holding his leg. Good to see that uh, they do battle on the field of play, but they're friends of it. Marcel Colonda, Walter Walia, and this, it looks like uh, Idris Ilunga Mbombo also there. Dynamo supporters remain optimistic that the team can come back. They'll have to little, really put in a little bit more than what they have so far. Pio Tembo approaching the area of uh, opportunity. Chungu, can he shoot from there? He uses his weaker right. And out the ball will go for a corner kick. Not the best of starts uh, for Power Dynamos, and as far as this first half is concerned, but something that Bjorkon will hold on to. Here comes the ball, and uh, it's wasted. Two corners so far. Power Dynamos don't make uh, good use of their first one. Kelvin Muanga Kampamba. I've not seen a lot of him in this game. Bitcoin have done so well to just isolate him. I guess the, the ray of hope is coming from Fuayo. Fuayo keeps on drifting center and to the left. If only he could have uh, some support play every time he makes a run and just have players around him to just uh, give him some options. Power might have some delight. Power Dynamos, in need of uh a little bit more opportunity right in front of goal as the ball is uh, pushed forward. Now, could this be it? And really, there are moments when you need to use placement over power, but on that occasion, the Ivorian needed to use power to have something. And he did have time and space. He should have just hit it and wrapped his laces behind it but his body could not allow because he was almost in motion all he had to do is just go with the wave and I guess that's where you have to really advance in your technical ability in terms of manipulating of the ball change your structure and try to open up your body in that instance even as you're moving because that would have probably be one one power and build con so Ferdinand come missing out on that opportunity where he should really hit that ball 
He was hoping the goalkeeper was going to advance towards him, and he didn't. Scott Ngokene. Throw in uh, Beauticon. And yes, it is! And the upright saves the key to a side. And who else but Maisha? Power Dynamo survive. It could have been 2 0. Scott Ngokene for the ball. Sending it back. The power Dynamo's to panic. In the meantime, this side is looking very composed. Kampamba in the fighting for that, uh, trying to get that ball. And now the move is on. And this is uh, Doisha. Showing too much and Paul Dynamos can take over with Kampamba. Foul in favor of uh, Dynamos. It's uh, Maisha that commits the offense. Well, previously Maisha just receives the ball. He does put a lot of muscle on it. But that argument that he had with that bar just doesn't go as planned. Left for dead was Alan Chiwe. Not himself this afternoon. Good sliding tackle there from Alan Kamwango Jr. As uh, Mwepu tries to make that effort. Tashent Shimbi Mwepu. Corner kick to Budokan and uh, Daisha to take uh, his time. Here comes the ball. In the meantime, the pressure is on. Alan Chiwe collects, chasing the half hour mark. Turning around, and confidently so, is the beauty con. They're really, really not panicking. Great composure on their part. Well, he's just watching on as his team impresses. They've scored their first goal, and alongside him is his lovely wife. You so, sure? Very sure. Okay. <laughs> That's Moses Mwanga and Mrs. Mwanga. Excellent. Powered animals under pressure to get back into the game. It's not happening as easily as the fans would love to. Chungu lobbing the ball in front. But uh, flag has been raised. Second assistant, spot on. Devorian is quite a busy body today for Power Dynamos. So, looks like uh, Devorian will have to make way. Things have not gone as planned. It's Larry Walia who oh, come on. So Larry Walia to try and change the fortunes for Powered Animals. Not the best of uh, games in as far. In the meantime, the push is on yet again. The pressure. Powered Animals tried. Relieve themselves of uh, more damage. 
as they try to push forward. Half an hour, it's Beautycon leading, Paul failing to get back into the game. And now this is looking good for Beautycon. And good challenge, fantastic defending. Looks like the ball just hits him on the head there. And uh, Billy Mutale didn't even care as much. This was the earlier challenge. And Kamwanga Jr., Alan Kamwanga Jr., just shows the reason why he left Mighty to join power. The brilliance. I'm still trying to figure out the official language in the Buildcon dressing room with such a cosmopolitan feel. You know, you've got the likes of Guinea, DRC, Equatorial Guinea, Uganda, Nigeria, Kenya, Zambia, Ghana. So there's a little bit of French, Swahili, Arabic, English. And if your coach is a Spaniard of uh, Moroccan origin, the safe variety is the spice of life. I'll repeat, their language is called football. As part animals push for the equalizer. Beautycon, very composed at the back. They're not panicking. They have their act well sorted out. Lawrence Tungu lobs it to Foyo Tembo. Doesn't have good balance and uh, Beautycon in the meantime, one new still remains the state of affairs here at the trade uh, fairgrounds, and the run is on. He has so. Pod animals in trouble here. He just needed a miss there by Mutale to add more wolves to already troubled power side that need uh, to dig a little bit deeper into their reserves to try and outdo this dollar outfit. Godfrey Nguenya pushed off the ball there by Isaac Isinde, the Uganda national team defender. Kampamba. For power, what does he have? Beautycon too good at the back, not giving any chance to poor animals. Time always ticking. And now, it's uh, going to be some punishment here. And yellow card straight. And that's again poor animals under pressure and making all sorts of mistakes. It's Alan Kamwanga Jr. who is in trouble. He seemed to have been beaten for pace. And his reaction might just land him into deeper trouble than he already is in. Well, the pass that comes from Makweti. Makweti just almost lets Maisha loose. It's a Queen's language. Yeah, looks like somebody has to open their eyes. So, here comes the situation. Powered animals with the pressure. And Chibwe spills the ball. And who knows? 
Well, the Looks referee. Like it's, it's offside. The flag is up, and Bar Dynamo survive. And question marks. It looks like there's going to be some disciplinary issues here. And uh, who is going to be yellow carded? I think there was something on the referee that he didn't like. Probably a push. And looks like it's Bosanja that might be in trouble here. And he's not going to change his mind. He's still going to flash the yellow card. Who's been yellow carded? It's Bosanja. And you can understand why. Look at <laughs> how he's insisting. It's not going to change anything, Mustafa. And the yellow card is flashed. So exactly what went wrong? Well, I reckon when that ball went in, you know, he, he probably felt that the decision of yellow card was not of offside actually was not too perfect so there it goes there's the run so where's the offside and where's the altercation so it's probably in uh, what was said probably what was said mostly the but reaction I'm mainly nothing but the reaction to the denial of the that that goal or what should have been a goal do you think that was a something out of an offside i don't think so i was looking at the run so part animal survive another goal another effort oh this is really looking good from butcon looking very dangerous for part animals fidel responds with that yellow card bike throwing in a scorcher this after he picked up a yellow card for descent by word of mouth he must have exchanged some unpalatables with the, the officials interesting uh, hairstyle he has on well it's all happening in an interesting game fire tempo being fed on crumbs and hardly see the attacking figures in part animals For a game that's only given us one goal, we have seen a lot of action. Absolutely. Birkan are sending a message. And Zambian teams have to look out because this Zambian new arrival has a lot to offer in Birkan. I don't want to jinx it, but I'll be shocked if they get relegated with the way they're playing. Really looking good on the ball. They look organized, they look composed, and they'll take a punch as well. They predominantly do zonal marking, but today they're doing a lot of man marking and not allowing power, space on the ball. Here comes the ball, a chance, but Ngokene acrobatically collects that ball. Much <laughs> entertaining the fans here at the trade fairgrounds. Unicorn in the lead. I can bet you he would get a job in the circus. He does do this a lot, Gokeni. Sometimes even bordering on a uh, scary. No, he's very athletic. His shenanigans are just uh, provide for more drama than a soap opera more often than not. Just a few minutes remain for Pod Animals to get back into the game. Beautycon to hold on to the lead and consolidate it, coming back into the second half. Alan Chibwe knows better than anyone else that he needs proper protection. Here comes the ball. And Budokan move forward in a very organized manner. Mistakes again. Power survive. They send jitters when they're in the power area. The power defense find themselves in sixes and sevens. The Tupisan Mazembe Loni, Maisha, from the DR Congo who's only 23 years of age, is a menace in this power Dynamo's defense. You can certainly ask the likes of uh, Young Nguenya and, of course, uh, Alan Kamwanga Jr. Uh, 
Uh, the Spanish coach just uh, issuing out instructions. Five minutes left to play. Ideas, ideas, ideas. That's what Power is searching for. Digging deeper. The ball is not being there. No just lost arriving causes. Late huh? Because the flag stayed down, there was just need to. No lost cause. Kevin Wangagampamba just uh, puts it in space in Fuayo, almost making perfect contact with that ball. That ball might have gone in. The reaction not there from this build con defense. Probably lapse in concentration. They have the minus defense so far in the league. Three games and have not conceded a goal. And boy, oh boy, are they on cloud nine. They've scored their first goal. Coming in the seventh minute, thanks to the Congolese Loni from Tupisama Zembe, Maisha. Well, Birkan certainly bringing a lot of competition in the local league. Now that's clever. Fantastic. From Miheso, the Angolan. Well, it might seem like there's something against Kenya. He's actually Kenyan. You feel right at home here in Dola because uh, just across Zesco do have a couple of Kenyans in their team. In the meantime, three minutes remain. One nil, Bjorkan. And you wonder where the goal come from in as far as power dynamos are concerned. With the exception of Fuayo, a lot of power play players look downcast. They're playing with their heads down. The knee we need to just recover look for some light in between probably center in the midst of the game absolutely Alan to wait he's already allowed one survived another which was uh, ruled out for offside. That didn't go down well for Budicon. Eventually seeing Bosanja being yellow carded. Ngokene, that uh, fantastic clearance. And look at uh, the tumbling by Kasonde. And it could be costly, because Budicon are coming. Well, that looks like a professional foul. I will not be surprised if we see yellow. Makwata, very explosive when you leave him in that pocket just before the 18-yard box. He makes that run, and it's a straight foul. He goes for the player and not the ball. He's fortunate to not pick up a yellow card in that instance. a little bit far off but it allows for a player with technique to just wrap his foot around the ball to give it that necessary spin for it to dip just before it gets to go absolutely the animals do well in defending that and now a chance to counter to have an attack for tempo is racing has to check his lines Stumbeko. Is it an ball? And Power Dynamos might just have relief here because the referee has pointed to the spot. There is no contest from Beauticon, let alone Lamine. It's. Uh... When Stumbeko hits the ball, his body is in a natural position. He is moving away from the ball I think it's a little bit unfortunate that red that, that that penalty it shouldn't have been because he does move his body away from the ball it's not like his hand just went towards the ball well build con will be looking to avoid conceding their first goal but why master tactician has a lot of ball mastery when it comes to taking a spot kick I fancy him getting one over Scott Ngokeni. Ngokeni versus Fire Tembo. Fire Tembo versus Ngokeni. The pressure is on. 
Can Flyo make it? Oungo, can it be the star? And it's uh, Flyo that has the goal to make a level 1-1 before the break. Very important for Powered Animals. And there's uh, a little bit of uh, <laughs> a difference there because Flyo Tembo is taking the ball to the center. It's 1-1. One, one. Did a good job. Sent Ngokene the wrong way. And that's a lack of seriousness that I see from Scott Ngokene because he doesn't even attempt to make any sort of a save. He just moves towards one left as if he was doing an electric slide. And so it's Butcon 1, Hard Animals 1. Powered animals will tell you they've been feeling the pressure and now Beauticon now they have to get back into the lead. Their three points have been cancelled here. And this is looking dangerous. A chance and uh, oh too much from uh, patient Mwepu. That was a great chance to make it two. The ball comes floating in a delicious fashion. Yes, look at that reaction. Look at the gesturing. That was the chance. That was goal number two for Butecon. And now Powered Animals struggle to push forward. Foul, Beautycon. Three minutes have been added. Two have been exhausted. Of the added three. And that's just about it for the first uh, 45 minutes. A half you could give to Beautycon, but we're one. We're part animals, we're mainly on the receiving end, so to speak, struggling to really play their game power. But a lot of reorganization will be taking place. For our tempo scores through a penalty, Beautycon opening up in the seventh minute. Join us very shortly. Hello, how are you, sir? Thanks. Hello, 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 hello.
It's half time at the trade fair grounds in Dola between uh, Butecon and Power Dynamos, and it's one apiece uh, KDC of uh, Maisha and uh, uh, Fuayo Tembo. Those uh, goals are coming through on the 7th and uh, 45th minute, uh, uh, respectively. Despite the half uh, being uh, fully on the side of uh, Butecon, they have enjoyed, uh, played all the football, created all the chances. Uh, but at the end of uh, the first uh, 45 minutes, it has been a uh, one apiece uh, between these uh, two enterprising uh, sides at the moment. Mukamba Mwenda joins me uh, from a commentary position. How would you sum up the first 45? Explosive. Yeah, really. And obviously, in terms of uh, the side that looked more determined to create the chances and get the goals. Power, a little bit uh, lucky to pick up that, that penalty towards the end. But this game has been dominated by Buildcon. Mm. Very impressed with what they're putting out here. I think highly technical team. They, they normally defend in, in zones, but they were doing a lot of man marking today. And in terms of tactics, spot on. You can see the international flair really coming to the top. Yeah, you spoke about them getting their first goal of the, being the 2017 campaign. What is it that you think they did differently today to get themselves a chance and well, get the goal? They've got, they've got some players who've not been playing uh, because uh, their, their, their certificates were not cleared, obviously. Uh, it was evident to see in the first three games that they didn't really have a point man and in terms of flankers. A lot of teams don't have the full complement of players that they have in their backroom staff, so to say. And you can see uh, the team changing ever so slightly. And, you know, in terms of how they've come here, they've not allowed power to play. Power tends to dominate games against uh, their opponents. I think there's only very few teams in the league mm. that have a lot of ball possession when they're taking on power. But today, mm. uh, they All were right. second fiddle. No, certainly then. Let's quickly take you through. If you're that person that missed out on uh, the first uh, goal that uh, came through uh, in this uh, particular encounter, look at the beauty up though uh, by, uh, you know, uh, Butecon in this particular instance. And look at the defense for Power Dynamos. Well, they're, they're more in a zone marking situation, but just one pass splits all the four players. And that's the problem with zone marking in defense, because you have about four players and just one pass, just one ball can really split that entire defense. And the goalkeeper, Chiwe, unfortunately, will feel very bad when he looks at this. Look at that. Just that pass, it ricochets. All those flip players are out of it. Maisha goes and buries it. He's a low knee from uh, the DR Congo side to Puisama Zembe. So he's come here to just uh, show his parent club that I can do something. But certainly, for the, 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 the defenders on the part of Power Dynamos, the way they were lining up, it's not on point. The reaction was really bad. I think you need to be very in instinctive in that area when the ball comes in. You need to attack it. I've never understood the whole philosophy around defenders waiting for the ball. You need to attack the ball as a defender. And Power were just second best today against uh, Bilcon in the first half. You know, every second ball, Bilcon were winning, even in their own box. Yeah. Now, certainly, if you're uh, in, in comparing the two sides, it's evident that, uh, you know, Butkin were more enterprising in front of goal. They created chances, and many of them. But for Power Dynamos, there came a moment when they created something that they could have turned into a goal immediately. And, and, and this came around the 26th minute. And if you look, look at that long pass, it comes through. And this is the time they, they were able to use purse, but the finishing. Well, it's a case of uh, using the right technique and applying the right tactic. In this case, the Ivorian failing when it comes to both. Hence, he was substituted slightly later on because the, the whole aspect of using him as a point man and making the runs, look, he's a decent lad. You can see his belt is, was making some decent runs, but to be honest, he didn't really deliver. He had a couple of chances. He didn't really make it happen. And certainly for Maisha, he wasn't done as far as his exploits in the first 45 minutes. I was concerned. There came again Butcon. They seem to be building quite well, especially from dead ball situation, set pieces. They're accurate. 